all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today we're talking about the chargers the los angeles chargers in my opinion in general are they're clearly on the up and up i mean this is one of the most potential young rising squads in the entire league and i know the wording was bad on that but I, i'm thinking of one specific aspect and that specific aspect is Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. Now, if you're a Chargers fan watching this video right now, I don't need to tell you anything. You get it. You get the vibe. You will understand what I'm about to talk about because Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack, bro, I think honestly this is probably the best duo in the entire league. In fact, I, I would go ahead and just stamp it right now. I think that Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack, I guess it's contingent on both, I guess technically both of them staying healthy, but bro, Khalil Mack got injured last year on the Chicago Bears, and for some reason, the entire goddamn league has already not only forgotten about Khalil Mack and his domination, but kind of just written him off. I mean, he, I guess Khalil's getting up there in age, but... I mean, this isn't 1942, bro. You know, these guys are athletes. Khalil Mack is most definitely an athlete. But we're going to talk a little bit about it in today's video. If you guys enjoy, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I post daily NFL content every single day. But I'll tell you this. Khalil Mack only played a handful of games last season. He only played about a quarter of the year last year. A little over a quarter of the year last year. Not great at math. I think it's a little, yeah, a little over a quarter of the year last year. The man pretty much had a sack every game he played. And so when we're talking about edge rushers in the league, kind of saw it with Micah Parsons. Like Micah Parsons last year, 13 sacks. He comes out and he said a couple of days ago or recently, like he's going for the NFL record. Like he's going for 23 sacks this next season. So with edge rushers, when people think of like, talent i would say most people look at or i shouldn't say most people i guess me i don't even want to say a casual fan people look at at sacks right that sacks are the stat that for edge rushers is you know a good sign of you know how dominant are they khalil mack joy bosa are phenomenal at getting to the quarterback i mean they're phenomenal at it so last year bosa had a top five edge defender wins above replacement and a 90.3 pass rushing grade. Oh, man. Same thing for Khalil Mack last season. Like I said, kind of consider it a wash. Last season, I kind of consider it a wash for Khalil Mack because, like I said, he barely played. And when he did, he was, he was freaking fine, dude. You know, I also want to say real quick, because I live here in Chicago, the Bears... The Bears defense, Bears offense, just the Bears in general, before they got polls this year, before they got Eberflus, I don't really think that they had, after the season Khalil got there a couple of years ago, I don't think that they really had the best system in place, I think is a good, nice, respectful way to put that. But here's the thing. The same thing with Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa. Since 2016 has been the edge wash, edge rushing wins above replacement king at 2.93. I mean, that is literally domination. I look up, I type into Google right now, what is the definition of domination? They will say Khalil Max wins above replacement. has been a 2.93 since 2016. That's what the definition of it would be. So last year, wash 2020 what what was the word with 2020 well he had a 92.5 grade so bosa i'm not worried about he's a young cat cleo mac he's not old but coming off an injury you don't want to get re-injured you know there you 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 sprinkle in his age combined with the just getting injured last year and I wouldn't even really say that Chargers fans are concerned because I don't think that they're concerned. But you want to be cautious, right? You, you don't want to count your eggs before they hatch. So your chickens before they hatch. So if Khalil Mack can stay healthy next season, 
You got Joey Bosa there on one end. You got Khalil Mack there on the other end. And you got Justin Herbert as your quarterback. And those are just, I, that's just three players. I mean, I could sit here and talk 50 minutes talking about the Chargers' freaking pretty loaded roster. I mean, that AFC West is going to be an arms race. I think we're all aware of that. But you get a healthy Khalil Mack, you get a good, healthy Joey Bosa. I mean, opposing offenses are. <laughs> You're, you're looking at that calendar. You're looking at the Chargers on your calendar. You're like, oh, shit. God damn it. And if you're in the AFC West, you're thinking, oh, shit. God damn it. Twice. You're thinking that twice. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about the Los Angeles Chargers. And uh, hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content. As always, I will catch you guys later.